it was on that fateful evening when I was coming back from work, we went to the uh, grocery store. Yeah, when we got there, there's a lady working at the counter, who was a clerk. She uh, knows us and uh, she's trying to help these uh, people. And uh, the lady, the clerk, could not communicate with them because, you know, they neither understood nor spoke English. So when seeing us was a kind of a relief for the lady. So she now called us and uh, said, please, we have a family there that is in need and want uh, people to assist them. I don't know if you can communicate with them. But when I got there and I greeted them in French, bonsoir, I could see the excitement, I could see the relief, I could see the joy. Together with my wife, we tried to help. We had pity, we, we had compassion. They've already walked without proper dress uh, from their home to the Aldi. That's about 20 minutes walk. And we didn't want them to go back just like that. We had to give them a uh, ride back home. I went to their house, we stayed together with them, I asked them if we could pray. So they said yes, we, we prayed together with them. Then uh, I encouraged them because uh, we had to share our own experience as well as a uh, refugee. Then I gave them what I had, like clothing, furniture, uh, even food. The next day, the co officer came to visit them. That was also a joy for me to see the servant of the Lord living whatever he was doing, to care about these uh, people that, you know, looking at them, you may think they are nobodies. But thank God that the salvation army is where nobodies are, giving them hope for the future. And that was what was given to them. And we can see, you know, life coming back. Uh, then we could see the joy and that confidence and that hope, you know, from brokenness to hope. When I look at them today, I have so many reasons to thank God. This family is, I can say, a force for, for the future of my call. Their average age was above 65. What is going to become of this core in the next 10 years, in the next 15 years? So seeing this family with 16 members, and most of whom are youth, that was kind of an answer to that concern. And through this family also, we have had so many other families that joined the church. And uh, all these families are fully involved in core activities. We have now an African community Bible study or Sunday school. And let me also tell you that these people have regained their dignity. 75% of these people are working. So many of them are now drivers. They become uh, independent, let me just say. What was very, very important I discovered was that joy. In my core, people got involved. People showed love to these people. They laughed, they hugged them. Maybe that was the first time they were ever hugged in their life because in Africa, you don't hug in, in public. You know, that was the, the first thing that really touched them. I, I don't want to neglect the gift that they received, but I think the first impression, that's what matters. You know, that love that was shown to them. They were involved in this life. You know, they engaged themselves. That spirit of welcoming people, you know, and that is what, you know, uh, lacks in many other places, but thank God where I am, I saw it in practice. People showing the practical love.